cabinet here and we are going to color another one of these awesome hair swatches from Paper Nest Dolls and Sweet Sentiment. So we're going to do a strawberry blonde and this is kind of a hard color to find um, a, a color blend for. So I know a lot of people have been looking for it and so I came up with this color blend. Um, it looks like none of these markers belong together, but I assure you, they totally do. Um, it just works out. So the skin tone I have used for this coloring swatch is from our skin tone swatches, and I used the basic Caucasian Girl. I just left out the R20 for the cheeks. So um, this is the Strawberry Blonde. So we're going to start with this E33. And this is actually going to be our shadow color. So we want this color to be where the shadows of the hair are going to be. And again, I'm going to start underneath this bun. Um, I know for sure that the bun of her hair is definitely going to leave a shadow on her head. So we are just going to go for it. I like to use my brush nib as kind of a paintbrush. And so I um, use that nib as kind of like a little quick paintbrush motion to get the hair strands singular. And always, always, always go with the grain of the hair. So whichever way the hair is turning, the artist has drawn these lines. Christine Young from Paper Nest Dolls has really done an amazing job on this adorable little doll. So we are going to try to give her some justice here and color her up. Um, so I am just going to add a little bit of shadow here to the top because I know that this is gonna curve away from the sun. Now I don't generally do this with the darker colors. Um, the reason being is because this will really drop a darker color into a lot more shadow. So I try to do it a little bit with the lighter colors just because I wanna add more dimension. But with the darker colors, I don't shade the entire top. And I do that um, obviously for that reason, I don't wanna drop that too far back. So now I'm going to go in and add some shadow behind her ears and I know this is quite a light color for shadow but you got to remember we are doing a strawberry blonde so it's going to be a fairly light hair color um, when it's all said and done anyways so I'm just putting a shadow behind where her fringe comes out because I know that it would cast a shadow on her head and then in the part of her fringe here. Just like that, I'm gonna do the same thing over here on this side. And I'm gonna come down this way because that's the direction that her hair is falling. So I'm gonna kind of curve my strokes around in sort of like a C shape. And then again, I'm going to follow this line of her fringe up her head here. And notice I'm not making all of my little lines here end in the exact same spot. Hair catches the light in different ways. It's very um, multi-tonal and it catches the light in very, very different um, aspects. So I try to make sure that not all of my little brush strokes end in the same spot so that it adds that dimension and texture and interest to it. Um, I'm now coloring with the YR12. This is kind of a peachy, yellowy kind of color. So this is going to, oh, and I always forget to do this part. Um, you wanna color this part down here too, because this is your swatch color. And it helps you to decide what you want to do. All right, there we go. Anyways, now I have this YR12. And as you can see, when I color down here, it's kind of this peachy orangey color. I like to overlap the swatch colors some, but then I like to leave 
um, some of the natural color in each of them. So just FYI, that's why I do kind of a big, a big swatch of them like that. Okay. So this is a really peachy color and um, I'm using it as like a base. Um, you'll see I'm going to go over the top of this color so that it's not quite so orangey, but this is definitely going to add like a tint or a tone to the next color that we do. And so Strawberry Blonde has a lot of different layers in it and different colors that show through. It's kind of red, but it's kind of brown, but it has that kind of pinky hue to it too. So we're trying to mimic that with our Copic marker choice. And it's a hard thing to mimic, I will tell you that. It's definitely a tough hair color. Um, I've had this requested a ton, actually. Um, apparently there's a lot of little strawberry blonde kiddos running around and a lot of people really want this hair color for their cards and stuff. So we have delivered. I really like it. This is a super fun color. And it's fun to watch it develop too. This is a great one to watch develop as you progress through your marker colors. All right, so I'm gonna go to E93 now. And with E93, this is a quite a pink color. Um, but it still has, it's E, so it still has that kind of brownish tone to it. This is a tea rose color is what the marker is actually called. So with the tea rose, I'm going to start filling in some of this highlight area. And I'm not, I'm, I'm still leaving like white. I'm not filling everything in entirely. I'm still leaving white in between because we still have two more markers to go with. Okay. And into this bun. Gosh, I love this image. It's just so stinking cute. Paper Nest Dolls did a fantastic job of creating the perfect image for a swatch. I don't think it could get much better than that. All right, so that is the pink. Now we have YRO1. This is also a peachy color, but it's more of a peachy pink color, as you'll see. And notice, <coughs> excuse me, it kind of adds sort of that red hue back in. And I'm gonna go kind of over the top of that pink color because again, I'm layering these, so I'm trying to make this hair look kind of tonal. Um, or not tonal, sorry. I'm trying to make this hair look like it has many tones. That is the exact opposite of tonal. So I'm adding in these colors kind of over the top of each other, but still letting the bottom color breathe through. And you don't wanna add too much and oversaturate your paper because then you're gonna lose a lot of the dimension and the hard work that you've just done trying to create that dimension. So notice I just kind of lightly went over the whole thing. Now, um, this is quite pink and it's to me it's a little bit too pink. So I'm gonna take this E51 and this is kind of a yellowy tone. So this is what's gonna add that blonde back into that strawberry blonde. This is where I decided that it needed to be a little bit more blonde to create that, that whole strawberry scenario. So again, I'm gonna go over this and I'm still gonna use those same paintbrush strokes and I'm still going to try to not oversaturate the paper and I'm still leaving spaces in between um, so I can see those layers that are underneath. Just like that. And there you have it guys. This is a adorable little strawberry blonde girl using these five Copic markers. 
and I really, really hope you enjoyed this little hair tutorial, this quick little swatch hair tutorial. Um, pick up these swatches at papernestdolls.com. And as always, you can check out classes for coloring at sweetsentiment.us. And I hope to see you guys again really soon. Have a wonderful day. Cheers.